meet again. If chance it was, your fate seems strangely intertwined. But be that as it may, we are doubly grateful to you. First for saving the life of Belaram, and now for slaying the giant. We are glad your fallen kin have been avenged. Bargrasar was a threat to all free folk. It is only fitting we should join together to destroy him. Well spoken. But I wonder what purpose you had for coming to the Ettenmoors. This is no place for idle wandering. We came seeking the servant of the Dark Lord, a man called Agendaur. Have you any word of him? Belaram has told us of that one, but I fear you have come too late. We have searched the Ettenmoors thoroughly in our hunt for Bargazar, yet we have seen no sign of this servant of the Dark Lord. If he was here, we can be reasonably certain he is here no longer. My people will work to disperse the enemy forces that remain in the moors. We will be on guard against the return of Agendaur. Then we should return to Elrond at Imladris. He will be anxious for news, and we have already been long away. I will arrange for a messenger. My lord, I owe my life to these three. And I too believe Agendaur to be a grave threat to the free peoples of the north. Eagles no less so than any other. If you would grant me leave, I wish to accompany them and aid them in their quest. You ask a great deal, Belaram. I may have need for all my followers soon. Yet I perceive a great destiny awaits these three, and it seems you are now part of it. Very well. I will grant you permission to join with them for as long as you see fit. Unless Belaram plans to carry his friends like sheep in his talons, he will need help. If it pleases you, my lord, I will gladly accompany them as well. I too have a stake in this quest. Let me be the third. So be it. Three who cleave the air to match three who walk the earth. May fortune favor you all. Arminel, Baron Thor, you shall be at Belaram's command. Obey his word until such time as you return to us. Now I must depart. Many forces are at work across Middle-earth, and many events take shape. I must consider what part the Eagles will play in them. Farewell, Lord of Eagles. May the wind be ever at your back. Return at last. We grew concerned for you. I fear you have missed your chance to say farewell to the members of the Fellowship, for they have departed. Clearly you found danger in the Ettenmoors, yet you have returned safely, and in the company of three of the Great Eagles, no less. There is a story behind this, and I am eager to hear it. We found trolls and orcs preparing for war, just as we feared and they were led by a renegade stone giant. He was attacking the eagles. With the help of the eagle Belarom, we were able to make an end of the giant. That was well done, but this is troubling. Why would a stone giant act in this manner? They have never been hostile to free folk before. We took these tokens from some of our fallen foes. That's Agendaur's Black Raven emblem, plain enough. Then we can be certain he is behind the giant's descent into evil. But there are also other tokens here I recognize. These are the marks of the orcs of Mount Gundabad, far to the north. What can you tell us of Mount Gundabad? It is a great peak that stands far to the north, at the meeting point of the Misty Mountains and the Grey Mountains. Once, Gundabad was a delving of the dwarves, but it was abandoned long ago. It has since become a stronghold of the orcs. The 
be hard pressed to find a more dangerous location in all the north. Could Agendauer be a threat to the ring bearer and his mission? Perhaps, but the company of the ring is bound southward, away from the regions where we believe Agendauer to be. We can hope that he has no thought for the ring. Indeed, I doubt he even knows of it. If the orcs of Mount Gundabad are serving Agendauer, perhaps we can find him there. It may well be. From Mount Gundabad, the orcs have many tunnels and secret pathways connecting the hidden mines and orc holes of the Misty Mountains. The orcs can move along those routes in great numbers without being seen. If Agendaur is raising an army to fight for his master in the north, it is certain he will have traveled to Gundabad. The evidence you have uncovered confirms this to be so, yet we have no way of knowing if he is there still. Perhaps not. But we should not sit idle waiting for him to begin the war on his terms. At the very least, we might learn what the orcs are planning. To walk into such an orc-infested pit as Mount Gundabad would seem like folly. But you have proven your skill and daring many times over. And, too, you have the eagles to aid you. It may be that you will find a way to take the enemy by surprise. It is certain that, were you to destroy Agendaur, you would cut the heart from Sauron's plan to make war in the north. But what of Frodo and his quest? Is there nothing more we can do to assist him? That die is cast. We must abide the consequences, for good or ill. There is nothing more we here can do but to look to our own defense. And the best way to do that is by ridding ourselves of Agendaur. We travel to Mount Gundabad. Your courage is commendable, but be certain you are well prepared. Mount Gundabad will not be forgiving of the unwary. Farewell, and may the stars shine upon your path. Is there something I can help you with, Eridan? I will leave you... It's a fine day for flying, don't you think? What do you know of Mount Gundabad? I've never been there, but I know it's a high peak that lies far to the north, on the edge of the frozen wastes, and that it has long been infested with orcs. We do not nest there. When the north wind blows across the wastes, it racks the mountain with blizzards driven by fierce gales. But I will not be daunted by the north wind. Snowfall will hide us from the eyes of the enemy below. Balram, look! Above the mountain! Set us down! We can attempt to find a way into the mountain under cover of this storm! There is little chance of that, with those creatures keeping watch from above. Once we land you, my comrades and I will draw off the beasts.
Let's hope those flying beasts are too occupied with the eagles to notice us. We can hurt their eyes and less keen than those of our eagle friend. There appears to be just a few more orcs among the hordes of Gundabad. seem to be searching for something. Now! <laughs> 